Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimmingbird, and welcome back for another Animal Crossing New Leaf. I'm in my house in my new Explorer's clothes. I have an Explorer's hat and Explorer's pants that I got. So I'm ready to explore the city, but first I wanted to plop down this Yoshi egg I got in the last episode. I forgot to show you guys. Grab my stylus real quick so I can click stuff a little better. There we go, let's throw it down. And let's check it out. It's a little Yoshi egg, and if we tap it... Awesome! <laughs> it even does a boing. I figured that would happen. Alright, so we got a Yoshi's egg. <laughs> it's a little strange, and a, you know, you, th you thought you'd have to move up in life a little more before you could get a Yoshi's egg, you know, like, up to Mario's level of stardom, but we'll go with that. We got it for pretty easy. Okay, so we're gonna head over to the mayor's office now. Uh, first off, though, before I do that, I'm gonna put one more tree over here that hopefully doesn't get, uh, doesn't get messed up. When I uh, when a neighbor moves in, I haven't. There's no new neighbors yet. Surprisingly, I thought there would be a new one already. But let's plant this over here. We actually don't need to have it planted to grow into a tree. I don't think because it's going to uh, just be dug up tomorrow. So hopefully, that's enough time for it to uh, to grow into a golden shovel and blossom. I don't know <laughs> if you if you plant a shovel underground. I don't know if it would turn into gold. It would probably just get the handle would decompose and then the blade would be left there for people to find in the future. We're heading into the mayor's office, or my office, because the town hall, because uh, Isabel's going to tell us about how to be the mayor. So let's head over here. I'm going to talk to her real quick. Maybe she'll give me a bug net or something useful. Oh, Mayor Adam! Have you settled in and finished unpacking? All done. Oh, wow, really? You must be really efficient when it comes to moving. My bedroom is completely full of unpacked cardboard boxes, and it feels like I moved too long ago. That's how my real house is. Sorry, please don't tell my brother. I, I don't let him into my room for just this reason. Oh, her brother's the... Okay, there's another cocker spaniel. Ahem. Uh, right, I was going to tell you about the town hall. For starters, right now I'm standing at the service counter. This is the information hub of Gustin. In addition to giving advice, I also provide other services when I'm at my post in the town hall. So let me know if you ever want to change the town tune or flag, or learn about citizen satisfaction. However, to get advice or provide input, you need to stand at the counter, just like everyone else. I, go I can't go bending the rules just because you're the mayor, after all. Now then, moving on to your responsibilities as mayor- Oh, I almost forgot! <laughs> Before you can start laying out your visit of for Goose Town, uh, you need- you'll need- I <laughs> said Goose Town. Goostin, you'll need a town development permit. Getting the permit takes a bit of work, but don't worry, it'll help you out. He, uh, that's what I'm here for. Sounds good. She seems like she does have a lot of work on her hands. You know, I just love your can-do attitude, Mayor Adam. Now then, there's a very special chair in the back of this room that's reserved for the mayor. That's you. When you need to work in a f on official mayoral business, uh, just sit in that chair and I'll help you out. And come see me when I'm not overly busy so we can get started on your town development permit. Well, I want to get some advice since hopefully she'll give me a net or something. Hello, Mayor Adam. Is there something you'd like to inquire about? So now I can change... A bunch of stuff. <laughs> can I can I t address problematic citizens and get them to move out? That'd be pretty cool. Let's get some advice and maybe she'll give me something I need. Okay, I can give you advice on how to make the most living here. Hmm. Ah, oh, that reminds me. Have you been to the beach yet? Our town is too slope she can use to get down there. I've been real relaxing to, to walk along the beach listening to the waves and picking up seashells. Head up there if you have time. Oh, I need to get her a seashell. Okay. I should apologize. That was rather bold of me, wasn't it? Really, I'll be fine if you would just occasionally use Y to pick, uh, quickly pick up seashells from time to time. If you happen to go down the beach and happen to remember, I certainly wouldn't mind. So I should bring her a seashell. Okay. Well, I'm going to try changing the town flag real quick. And uh, I'll change it to another design later that I'll, I'll have to c try to come up with a good design. But let's, uh, let's, let's, let's try to capture the spirit of Goostin with this stag beetle for now. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna see how this looks. It's perfect. It really captures the spirit of Goostin. I need like a goose design or something. We'll use this design as our new town flag. Thank you for your excellent submission. All right, let's hop in the chair while we're here and just see what's going on. Oh, there's Mayor Tortimer and all these awards and stuff. Okay, come on over. I got a Japanese uh, name tag thing there. They didn't change that. Uh, hi, Mayor Adam. Let me guess. You'd like to work on the application for your town development permit. Well then, let me explain the prerequisites for the permit. Your first requirement is that you own a house in town. Got that? Check. Since you're already home, blah blah blah. Okay, the second requirement for the town development permit is to gain the approval of the citizens. In order to gauge citizen approval, I'll require, or I'll regularly survey the townsfolk and see what they think of you. The best way to raise your approval rating is to improve the town and the 
the lives of those who live here. Now, according to a preliminary survey, survey your current approval rating is 27%. <laughs> That's not great. The law requires that all applicants have a 100% approval rating. So let's make that our goal. Man, if it was like that in real life, we'd never get anything done. Talk to me from your mayor's chair <laughs> anytime you want to know what your approval rating is. And also give you advice on how to raise your approval rating. That's all there is to it. Good luck, Mayor Adam. Okay. So I base I think I just need to like donate fossils, talk to people, all that stuff. I'm gonna come back and change the town tune uh, in a second here. I actually might go do that real quick off camera, and then we'll be right back when I have look at that beautiful stag flag for now. Um, but I'll be right back. I'm gonna try to change the town uh, theme so it matches my ending tune, if you don't mind. Okay guys, I've been messing with the uh, town theme here, the town tune for a bit. I want to say thank you to Breaking Captors for uh, trying to transcribe this for me. Unfortunately, there are no sharps or flat notes in uh, in Animal Crossing. You can't use that. And the majority of my little theme is that. So I tried to do a sound alike. It doesn't even, I couldn't fit all the notes in there. So this is as close as I'm going to get here. It, it maintains the spirit and intensity of uh, Julian's original song that he composed for me. <laughs> Anyways, if someone has an improvement that doesn't use sharps and flats and can help me out here, let me know. But for now, that's going to be my town theme. I messed with it for a bit, and that's about as good as I can get it for now on my own. Allow me, uh, ahem. I really like, I mean, that's still really catchy, I think, so it's as close as I can get for now. If anyone wants to improve that, feel free, and I will be very grateful. Oh my, what a wonderful theme! It's like music to my ears, literally. I'm sure this will be a big hit with the townsfolk. We'll start using it right away. I like that you're like, uh, you must sing my song, animals. Sing it. <laughs> sing it every time you come in and out of a building. Sing it when I greet you. Oh. I was trying to listen, but it does a really quick one when you come out of the building. Okay, so I'm going to go... Oh, man, there's a weed. A weed in my town? All right, I have so much more investment in the town now that I can decide its fate. Uh, I'm going to grab some pears. I'll head down to the beach and kind of take a look and see if I can grab anything to give uh, to give to Isabel because she wanted a shell. I'll probably give her something uh, crappy like a sand dollar because I don't think they sell for very much. Um, and then we'll take a look and see what the townsfolk are up to while I'm out here. Is Brofina home? I haven't seen the inside of her house. I'm out for a walk. If you need me for anything, please find me outside. All right, Brofina. Uh, I haven't seen her house. I haven't seen Tangy. I haven't really seen, like, the majority of people's houses because a lot of them were just out and about yesterday. I got to come back at night more. Well, look at the little trees growing already. What is going on with these two? You can cut the sexual tension between this lion and chicken with a knife. Alright, what's up, Elvis? Hey, Adam! Hey, Adam. Uh -huh. So did you hear something? Need something, sorry. <laughs> Do you remember how to save? Yep, that's right. Yep, I know how to save. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Are you trapped in down because you can't save? If you don't save, all of the memories and things you've done uh, will just totally just vanish. So when you're go leaving for good, make sure you get choose your game saving... Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to Brofina. Hello, uh, Adam. Running into you is always a nice surprise, Cluckadoo. What would you like to talk about, Adam? Alright, let's see. So, Adam, the rumor is that your home is looking very stylish, Cluckadoo. I'd like to take a peek right now, if you don't mind. Okay. Weird. Just being bashful. Great. Then let's go. Is she gonna follow me? Sweet. I'm taking this chicken back to roost, guys. <laughs> hey, come on, baby. Heading over to my house. And, uh, I'll show you around. I got a single bed and a frog in there if you want. <laughs> Check it out. And a Yoshi egg. That's cool. She's actually coming over. I wonder if she's going to give me a little gift. A housewarming gift or something. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, come on in. Why don't you? Hope you don't mind if I just barge right in, Adam. Okay. Come on. I led you over here. Check this out. It's a Yoshi egg. I bet, I bet you don't have one of those. Check this out. It's a baby panda. Oops. I can't move furniture around when I have company. So what do, you, what do you think? So Adam, this is how a real freshman man like you is decorating these days. Jeez. I'm not a freshman. I'm going to bed. Leave me alone. I'm the mayor. <laughs> I'm fickle. <laughs> how fascinating. There's not a single thing on any of your walls, Cluckadoo. Well, Chick Chicken Monthly says a... <laughs> Chic Chicken Monthly says a blank wall is as dull as an empty floor. Honestly, I don't think I agree, but it's worth thinking about, Adam. I can't put anything on the walls because I don't have anything to put on there. 
you want to give me something. Thanks for inviting me inside. Only be a minute. Don't break out the cream soda or anything. Where am I going to keep it? In the file cabinet? Come on, lady. She's got a, kind of a strange little t-shirt. How fascinating. Oh, yep, she said that already. I, I've heard enough about Chic Chic Chicken Monthly. I'm getting ready to leave here in a second. Nice place, Cluckadoo. You should host a party. Okay, come on. You ready to leave? Excuse me, leaving, Adam. Well, I guess I'll be going, too. Okay, she came and saw my house, but she didn't really give me anything. I wonder if I had to just sit there and talk to her a ton of times to get her to give me anything. Anyways, ugh. Oh, come on, stop tempting me with these bugs. I need a net. Okay, so let's head over here. Let's try to catch a fish, and then I'll head to the beach, and we'll end out this little episode here. Let's see what type of... This looks like a big one. Come on. One of the really cool things I noticed is that... Uh, Somebody also commented on it, but I did pick up on it, was that uh, when you go to the museum and you're going to donate stuff... Uh, I got to focus here. Come on. Got it. Okay. When you go to the museum and you're going to donate stuff, it's actually blacked out if you've already donated it. It's a black pass. I'm talking about blacking stuff out. Um, so yeah, it, it'll black out thing. Dragonfly. It'll black out things that you have already donated, so you don't have to like worry about accidentally donating them and then him chastising you for that. So it's pretty cool. What is this? Huh. Is this red? Is this red's tent? I'm gonna need some money if he's selling stuff. He's like sitting in town square trying to like sell illegal goods. What? Ah, welcome, welcome. Thank you for visiting my shop. Oh, could this be your first time you're meeting old Red? Well, ain't that lovely. I'm always happy to meet fellow art lovers. This is Red's gallery where we specialize exclusively in the finest art you've ever seen in the world. This is your one and only chance to buy a piece of uh, famous art for a bargain that can only be crazy. But of course, since they're all uh, really rare items, we only sell one item per customer. Why you ask? Because a bargain this crazy wouldn't be fair without some limits. I'd be penniless. So come on in. Don't be shy. Look around all you want. <laughs> so, I'm pretty sure he sells forgeries. But we can check on what these paintings are. We got uh, Scarlett Johansson, the lady with the pearl earring there. Not sure what that is. I can't really tell. I recognize some of these, but I don't really know. That one's kind of sad looking. What? Which one is most likely not counterfeit? I'm going to go with this one just because I'm a big Avengers fan. No, <laughs> Oh, I see you got your eyes only for that wistful painting there. I'd say it has eyes for you, too. I must say, that's quite amazing. And between you and me, it's only for just 3,920 bells. This time, and only this time. What do you think? You want it? Nah. What? Well, you pulled my leg. What a shame. Yeah, there's no guarantee you get another chance like this. No, sir. I don't have enough bells. I'll be back, Red. I'll be back for one of these paintings. So, cousin, what do you think? Wouldn't you like to order a very old piece of glass? Yep, a bit of swank in your house. May do wonders for your longevity and social life. I feel like if I buy one of these... Uh, thanks, cuz. If I buy one of these, it's going to end up being a fank, but i got to get some paintings for the museum. So we're going to have to take that chance. I'm going to head down to the beach, though. I, uh, another thing I learned that I, I had forgot... I read, like, tips about Animal Crossing. Um... I can put the link to that in the, in the description if you guys are also playing, but it was like 33 tips for Animal Crossing, and one of the tips that I didn't think about was that, look, I'm bunching these pairs, I'm bunching them up, I got, I think you can stack nine in one stack, so it saves you a ton of inventory space on, uh, on those. Are these black roses or are they dying? Oh my god, I just killed them. Okay, I guess they were dying. <gasps> What's this? <gasps> Graham's new home, coming soon. They didn't mark that out very well. Like, I didn't see it. I guess I'll pick these dead flowers. Since they're all... They're dying because I don't have a watering can. Alright, let's head down to the beach real quick. And then I'll, I'll probably spend some time making some money. Try to get one of those paintings from Red. Etc, etc. We're almost down to the beach here. I'm tempted to run, but, you know, don't want to mess up the grass anymore. Then already. So let's grab a few shells. Cowrie shell. Oh, it's a butterfly. <laughs> I was like, is that a balloon? I would have heard the sound, though. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. A few more things happened uh, to this episode than I thought was going to. So, uh, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed this. If you can help me on the town tune, that would be greatly appreciated. I'm going to keep exploring and earning bells, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Goodbye. What? Cranston, what do you want? Guess what? 
when I was snacking on on Monstrone or Minestrone. Minestrone. <laughs> I thought I have a new nickname for you. This is really, really, really cool. Do you want to hear it? All right, lay it on me. Uh, right on. Here it is. Your brand new nickname, Chap. <laughs> Good old Chap. Are you cool with me calling you Chap from now on? <laughs> his voice, his accent changed now that he's saying Chap. <laughs> I'm trying out a new accent. Then it's settled. From this point on, uh, you'll be known as Chap. All right. I can't tell if you're Australian or country now, so. Thanks, buddy. Thanks anyways. <laughs>